good evening everyone i welcome you all in a sapiens education so today i am going to discuss about discuss about a standing wave on a string and its fundamental vibration so these are the waves so how a wave can a standing wave is making a fundamental vibration so we will discuss these things okay so what are nodes anti nodes and uh, all this thing will be discussed in this slides so first of all what is the standing wave on a string let us consider this is the rigid string and there is a wave is been created like this so consider a string of a length l is stretched under a tension t between two fixed points so the point should be fixed if the string is plugged and then released a transverse harmonic wave propagates along the length and is reflected at the end and the incident and reflected wave is superimposed to produce a transverse wave string in the string so if you plug at the mid point or at any point so what will happen it will create either this type of wave it may create a wave like this wave like this or it may create a wave like this like this or it may create a wave like this okay so uh, it may create a wave like this it may create a wave like this it may create a wave like this okay so uh, this is the standing wave on a string and whenever uh, you will plug so we will get um, we will get a standing uh, wave transverse wave the length between the two nodes so here if you plug at this point so the length between these two nodes is equal to lambda by 2 because we have already discussed that length between the two nodes uh, in uh, successive uh, nodes is lambda uh, lambda by 2 in earlier videos nodes are formed at a nodes are formed at a rigid end and anti uh, nodes are formed between them so the number of anti nodes is equal to number of nodes minus one so if you want to find number of uh, anti nodes so just uh, subtract one uh, and uh, how many number of nodes are there so this relation is very important the velocity of wave incident or a reflected wave is equal to root under t by mu this is also discussed and the frequency of vibration so frequency is equal to velocity by lambda so if frequency is equal to velocity by lambda so velocity of the wave is given right now of one um, by lambda into t by mu so this is the one relation you can memorize so that you will able to understood uh, next topic okay now let us go for uh, for obtaining a p loops in a string it has to be plugged at the distance of distance of l by 2p for example if i want if i want one loop for example let us consider this is the fixed string okay and uh, this is a string this is a string so i want one loop only this is one loop because the this is the one node and this is one node if i want one loop that is p is equal to one so where is the plucking point where i should apply a plucking force so let us uh, you should always apply a plucking force at l by 2p l by 2 into p how many uh, number of a uh, um, uh, loop is required i required only one so i have to multiply it by one so l by 2 so at a distance of l by 2 if i will pluck so i will get the the wave like this now if i want uh, that uh, uh, two loops i required for example this is a two loops loops okay so if i want to uh, if i want two loops so where should i plug uh, the string where should i plug the string so uh, to, um, for a plucking of a string is equal to l by 2 into 2 so l by 4 so let us consider this is a uh, rigid uh, rigid structure and we have a string now sting if you consider one two three four watt so if i plug this side or either this side so i will get number of loops is equal to two number of two loops how many loops i will get two loops so this is the formula for getting out the loops if we want three loops so just put here uh, distance is equal to l by two into three so this will be l by six so in this way so the fund uh, we can find a loop now fundamental mode of vibration 
number of loop is equal to one in fundamental mode of vibration the number of uh, loops is equal to one so the plucking distance will be l by two only now length will be lambda one by two or lambda one is equal to two l why because length length is always equal to lambda by two so here lambda one by two because lambda one is considered because it is your fundamental 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 vibration now the fundamental frequency of the first harmonic motion so fundamental frequency just frequency is equal to 1 by lambda into root under t by mu so in place of lambda we can place 1 by lambda 1 into root under t by mu so we will get the desired result okay one can also put uh, lambda is equal to 2l so here also this is the also relation by using this relation we can get the fundamental frequency of the first harmonic okay now let us go for next up next uh, next one uh, is a uh, fundamental frequency the lowest frequency produced in the string is called fundamental frequency okay so if you want to know what is fundamental frequency it is the lowest frequency produced in the string is called fundamental frequency so the lowest frequency let us suppose there is a string so the lowest frequency will be this only if you want to double the frequency then uh, your uh, string should behave like this so the at the lowest uh, frequency is known as fundamental frequency and here number of nodes is 2 and number of anti -node nodes is a now uh, now we will talk about the harmonic the frequency which are uh, are an integral multiple of the fundamental frequency is known as harmonic if n is the fundamental frequency then the n1 2n1 3n1 4n1 are in harmonic okay so harmonic means we have to compare we have to be a multiples of the fundamental node fundamental frequency now if we want a second mode of a vibration so what we will do number of loops should be considered as two so here how many loops are there two loop loops are there so plucking will be l by 2 into 2 so this is l by 4 so this is let us consider this is the plucking point that is l by 4 at this point if you pluck so you will get how many loops so two loops we will get now the length length will be lambda length of the length total length is how much we are getting total length as a lambda so second harmonic motion frequency is equal to 1 by lambda 2 into root 100 t by mu or 1 by l into t by m okay so here we can see that frequency is equal to two times pre initial frequency so it is uh, doubles the fundamental frequency now similarly we can also find out third mode third mode plucking point will be l by 6 and length will be uh, 3 lambda 3 by 2 that is lambda 3 is equal to 2 l by 3 so the third harmonic will be like this and so so, so what happens here third harmonic the frequency n3 or frequency is equal to three times of the initial um, fundamental frequency so as soon as we are increasing the third mode fourth mode so what uh, in, is increasing the frequency is increasing okay now for nth vibration the general uh, if the string is plucked at the length l by 2p then the vibration p segment of the loop then we have the pth harmonic that is frequency is equal to p by 2l into root 100 to t by m so this should be remember and uh, general formula for the wavelength is equal to lambda is equal to 2l by n where n is equal to 1 2 3 corresponding to the first second and third fourth mode vibration if i want third mode of vibration so for third mode of vibration lambda is equal to 2 l by 3 if i want a uh, fourth mode of vibration so lambda is equal to 2 l by uh, 4 so uh, 2 l by 4 okay so this is as simple as it is so this is l by 2 only so in this way we can find the frequency as well as lambda now the position of nodes is equal to x is equal to 0 l by n 2 l by n 3 l by n like this l position of anti node is x is equal to p by 2 n 3 l by 2 n 5 l by 2 n like this uh, we can find out the position of the position of the anti nodes now we will also discuss discuss the the things related to the 
things related to the organ pipe so since it is an organ pipe or any pipe so it will also behave if you press pull, um, give an air air supply so what will happen it will behave as a, a wave okay so a standing wave so the organ pipes are musical instrument which are used for producing a musical sound by blowing air into it so the longitudinal stationary wave are formed on the account of superposition of incident reflected longitudinal wave inside the organ pipe why in because when you blow the air so air get blocked at the one end so due to blocking what happens due to blocking what happens the behavior or pattern of the wave is changing right <clears throat> so the equation of standing wave is equal to y is equal to 2 a cos 2 pi bt by lambda sin 2 pi x by lambda so you should remember this thing now what is frequency of vibration so frequency of vibration is equal to velocity by lambda this should be remembered as soon as it, as it is possible now let us uh, consider if a closed organ pipe is closed so in closed organ pipe only odd harmonic are present okay if the harmonics or frequency are uh, the ratio of the frequency will be only odd odd one one three five okay and the maximum possible wavelength is how much four four l only so this should be remember now the general formula for the wavelength is equal to four l by two n minus one for for closed organ pipe closed organ organ pipe when n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, corresponding to the order of the mode of the vibration, the general equation for the frequency, that is, this is frequency. So, frequency is equal to 2 n by minus 1 by 4 L by B into B. So, B is the velocity of the air or wave, velocity of wave. Okay. Now, the position of node from close end. So, let us consider this is open end and this is a closed end so the position of position of the nodes at x is equal to 0 is lambda by 2 lambda 3 lambda by 2 like this position of anti node from closed end is how much lambda by 4 3 lambda by 4 5 lambda by 4 so these are the thing now if we consider this as a closed end if we consider this as a closed end see here every is every where you will find a closed end so enclosed in the frequency is equal to frequency is equal to velocity by 4 l and the length will is equal to lambda 1 by 4 here length is equal to 3 lambda by 4 and here also lambda is equal to 5 lambda by 4 okay and the frequency will be subsequently frequency of um, all the three wave will be like this only so we have already discussed this thing frequency will be deferred right so this is the frequency is equal to velocity by 4 l here frequency is equal to 3 by by 4 l so that it become 3 times and it become 5 times only so it means that see here it is odd one only one third and fifth so no even one is coming in the closed or organ pipe now let us consider let us consider open organ pipe so if an organ pipe is open so what we will do so if an organ pipe is an open organ pipe so all even or and odd harmonic are present the ratio of harmonic is n1 n1 is 2 n2 is equal to 1 2 3 so there is not only like that only we will get a odd one so the maximum possible wavelength for this is 2 l 2 into length and the general formula for the wavelength is equal to 2 l by n where n is equal to 1 2 3 so for example fourth uh, fourth uh, fourth harmonic we want fourth harmonic so lambda will be equal to 2l by 4 okay so the general formula for the equation is frequency is equal to n by b n b by 2l so the position of node from one end is equal to lambda by 4 3 lambda by 4 5 lambda by 4 and the position for the anti node from from one end is equal to 0 lambda by 2 lambda 3 lambda by 2 so I hope you have you need to memorize all these things so that you will be able to solve different type of questions. So here we can see that it is an open uh, organ pipe. So if uh, if it is an open organ pipe, so what we need to do? So this is a fundamental. So for fundamental, so see here you can understand how many nodes are there. See one nodes are there, and two anti nodes are there. Okay, and the length will be lambda and lambda by two, and for second harmonic it is two lambda two by two. 
and 3 lambda 3 by 3 for third harmonic and the frequency is equal to b by lambda 1 or b by 2 l and the frequency 2 is equal to b by l frequency 3 third frequency is equal to 3 b by 2 l so these are the thing you should memorize okay Now let us discuss about the beat. When the uh, with the two sound waves slightly different frequency traveling in a medium along the same direction superimpose on each other, the intensity of resultant sound wave at a particular position rise or falls. So regularly with the time. So this phenomena of a regular vibration or of intensity of a sound with the time at a particular position is called beat. For example, see here. At some position it is maximum. At some position it is minimum see here so maximum intensity lower uh, lowest intensity is known as beat so uh, you have seen in music concert also you will feel the beat beat suddenly sound will rise suddenly sound will uh, lower down okay so this phenomena is known as beat so let the two wave of equal amplitude a slightly different frequency be m nu n and nu 2 traveling in a same medium and same direction so the fundamental uh, equation will be y1 is equal to a sin omega 1 into t and y2 is equal to a sin omega 2 t. So in omega is equal to what? Omega is equal to 2 pi by t or omega is equal to 2 pi by frequency we can write like this. Okay. So in place of omega we can write 2 pi into frequency n1 into t and y2 is equal to a sin omega 2 into frequency 2 t. Now by superposition uh, in principle y is equal to y1 plus y2. So on solving we will get y is equal to a sin pi into frequency 1. This this n1 is not, this is also a frequency uh, nu1 and nu2 only. Don't misinterpret here. So this is only the frequency. Okay. So symbol may be different but the meaning is same. So you should try to understand this. Okay. So we will get the equation like this on solving. So the amplitude of the wave is equal to 2a cos pi into b1 minus b2 into t. So these are the thing you have to memorize. Okay. Now on uh, one beat, if the intensity of the sound is maximum at a time t is equal to 0, then the one beat is said to be formed. Beat period, if you want to find beat period, so the time interval between the two successive beat. For example, uh, zero, sec zero second we have got and the uh, fourth second we have got the maximum sound so the time period is how much time period is 4 so the beat beat time period is equal to bit 1 by beat frequency that is equal to frequency subtraction of frequency 1 and frequency 2 so these are the formulas should be remember so i hope you have understood beat period as well as one bit okay so what is beat period what is one bit i hope you have understood this what is beat frequency the number of bit produced per second is called bit frequency and the bit frequency is equal to subtraction of the frequency one as well as frequency two now what is the speed of the longitudinal wave so the speed of the longitudinal wave it is a modified formula that is equal to root under gamma into p by rho where p is the pressure of the atmosphere gamma is the adiabatic index it may be uh, 1.41 for air for air and rho is the density of the air density of the medium density of medium i hope you have understood now now if you want to find the velocity of the longitudinal wave so you can directly like uh, try like this formula okay uh, now uh, let us uh, see the factor affecting the velocity of the sound is effect of pressure at a constant temperature now see here velocity effect of a pressure at a constant temperature let us consider temperature is remain constant so the velocity of the sound is independent of the pressure why in spite of pressure will increase it means that velocity is also in, must increase but what is happening actually if pressure is increasing so what will, will happen density will also increase so both will increase so the ratio of p by rho will remain constant so there is no effect of the pressure increase in the pressure so whenever you will find this situation so the effect is it is independent of the increase in the pressure so this is the factor affecting the velocity of the sound now second is the effect of temperature 
now with the rise in a temperature what will happen velocity of the side will always increase why because you know that velocity is equal to gamma by p by rho so gamma p by rho can be written as rt by m where we can see that velocity is directly proportional to root under time t okay now the effect of the density so it means that uh, if we increase the density so velocity is inversely proportional to the density so if i will increase the density so velocity will decrease okay now what is the effect of the humidity with the increase in a humidity the density of the air decrease so with the rise in a humidity velocity of the sound will also increase why because velocity is inversely proportional to density so humidity increases means density will decrease if density will decrease so what will happen velocity will increase so with the increase in a humidity uh, finally velocity will increase now effect of frequency no effect of the frequency at all okay so i hope you have uh, understood all the fact on the wave and you can also check this type of assignment i have uh, given so that you will able to practice all the exercise question so thank you for watching my video once again uh, thank you